a new kind of alliance as China and Russia strengthen ties in a shared challenge for the West. But it could also become a point of friction, even fracture between allies, if Donald Trump returns to power. His new running mate sees Beijing as the biggest threat, not Russia and its war in Ukraine, even though support to Kyiv is a top priority for the UK. This is what J.D. Vance said before Moscow's full-scale invasion. I think it's ridiculous that we're focused on this border in Ukraine. Uh, I don't, I got to be honest with you, I don't really care what happens to Ukraine one way or another. And here's the potential future vice president this week. I think what President Trump has promised to do is go in there, negotiate with the Russians and Ukrainians, bring this thing to a rapid close so that America can focus on the real issue, which is China. That's the biggest threat for our country, and we're completely distracted from it. Speaking to Sky News, Britain's defence secretary tried to maintain a united front when asked about J.D. Vance's views. Is that a position that you agree with? My point to you is this. A NATO summit last week in Washington, for the first time, 32 nations together, bigger, stronger, more unified, with Ukraine involved, all standing together and stepping up support for Ukraine. For Ukraine, there's alarm, but not despair. I wouldn't say that uh, there is uh, such, a, uh, such an atmosphere, you know, in Ukraine that we believe that... Uh, Trump, as the president of the U.S., will stop, you know, supplies of the air to Ukraine. You don't believe that? Uh, no, I, I wouldn't say so. As well as Ukraine, there's concern about what a new Trump presidency would mean for the U.K. and other NATO allies if, as feared, there's a pivot by the U.S. away from defending Europe to focus more on China, leaving the rest of the alliance to fend for themselves. The threat from friends, as well as foes, will surely frame a major review of defence launched by the government. John Healy is pledging a new era for defence. The big question is whether he can deliver. Deborah Haynes, Sky News.